Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again, new episode on how to. Today we're gonna to talk about WooCommerce and we're gonna talk about how to edit product pages using Gutenberg blocks. Don't forget to like and subscribe and without any delay, let's go to the dashboard here. When you go to a product, for example, let's say the first one comes to our list, we're gonna do edit. As you can see here, this is what you got for the actual description. You can't really make any changes, just you can actually add text. You can actually have some images if you wanted to. Let's go to the shop. This is what it looks like at the front end. We're going to the products. And as you can see here, even though we are not going to change at the top, that is the standard from the WooCommerce, it would be nice to change anything below this part the main part for example in the description and also will be nice if you can actually integrate a like a drag and drop uh, way of adding content for example gutenberg so after i've searched the actual web for a while i can you know i have seen some people doing some changes and i can you know i said it must be somewhere where i can actually find a way to enable gutenberg on the product page in the same way for example is when you actually create a new page for example so if i do create new page here as you know you got this plus icon this is the actual gutenberg even though i got elementor but that's nothing to do with it it would be nice to add a block in the same way you do here browse all here so you can actually see all the blocks on the left this is gutenberg so after search as i said i found a little code and again the code will be in the description below this is what it looks like all right and here is the code i'm going to copy that now you want to add this into your function php so if i go to the editor now make sure you got selected the correct template in this case it's the child name of astra okay if you go to the main uh, template and you're going to change the function you might have a problem when the actual template update so you want to make sure is the correct one and you got the child installed once you select it you go to function php i'm going to add a couple of lines and i'm going to paste the code that i copied from my text then i'm going to press update file that file has been edited successfully so this is the page again we're going back we're going to where is products here here we go products all products i'm going to the first one edit and now we should be able to access as you can see here the editor and everything is going to be on the left side okay so on this part of it i can actually change modify and even delete the block if i wanted to so i'm going to remove the block so now i got this one here now this will be this one okay and i have removed this block here okay this is what i actually removed let me do this here we go this is what i've removed here so now i'm going to add a block i'm going to add a paragraph i'm going to add a image if i wanted to that's from the library for example let's put another one here again you can put anything you want you can resize it if you wanted to all right you can add captions anything you really want now there are many other ways you can actually add more and more for example there is a way to do um add pre-made for example uh blocks if you wanted to so what i'm going to do now i'm going to update so they can actually show you what i'm what i've done so all i've done is text and the image okay so now when i'm going to refresh the page of the product we got the block there so as you can see now we actually add this one here i'm going to remove that there we go now you also got some of the woocommerce blocks that you can actually add where before you couldn't do that but you definitely can do a lot more so you can have a advanced edit you can write description and as you can see 
it's a lot lot easier to add blocks even those ones are already made as you can see here so that's how easy it is all it is is to add a simple code to your function PHP and you will be able to add any Gutenberg blocks at the end of the day that's all it is enabling Gutenberg blocks for the description of each product in WooCommerce anyway guys I hope to enjoy this small tutorial it's gonna be fast I'll see you next time with a new exciting tutorial on WordPress and web design thanks again and I'll see you next time